Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today is all a bit different. We've moved, if you've been following along with my renovation videos, and you'll know, and you'll probably know this room that I am in. It's a little bit grungy, it's a little bit different, but I'm just working with it for now because it's so much easier than lugging all of my camera stuff back and forth to where I'm staying with family. So I feel that this would work. It's also slightly different because if you can see outside, is an absolute winter wonderland. We've had our first dusting of snow. It is so gorgeous. But I am ready for spring, and to be honest, I am so ready for spring, and I have been ready to start shopping for spring, and I am starting to pick up a few pieces, as you will notice in this video. So I popped into H&M in my Come Shopping With Me video, and I also went in the other day and picked up this blouse, and I thought, I'm loving so much in H&M, I'm gonna do a nice big haul online, and that is exactly what I did. So it arrived, and I thought that I would show you guys this absolute mammoth box of bits. If you're new, I always link everything to below and I will show you full length clips of all of the clothes as well after I've shown you them. And I'm a size eight to kind of 10, depending on the store. So I'll try and tell you, if not, I'll link the information below and you'll be able to find out all the materials of all of the items and stuff too. This seems a little ridiculous seeing as it's snowing outside, but it's nice and warm in here and I'm feeling like spring is around the corner. Maybe it's wishful thinking. So first piece I have pulled out is this tunic. I am so into this like relaxed boho, kind of like chic but sophisticated boho look. And I thought this one would be perfect. So it's a tunic top, but I feel like I'd wear it a little bit more as a dress kind of style, maybe with some leather look leggings and some over the knee boots. It's in this gorgeous navy color and it has the polka dots over. I love these billowing sleeves. And then it just comes down to the bottom here and it has two separate tiers. It does do up here, which I think could be quite nice, though I'm not sure I will do it up there. And I reckon it's going to come kind of like halfway between my knee. So the good thing with this one is I can wear it now with some leggings and some high boots and a coat over it. But I think also this will look lovely in the summer, even just draped over a bikini on the beach or wearing it as a little dress. So a really versatile piece. I definitely feel like tunics have this reputation for being a bit frumpy and not that fashionable, but I am really getting into them. I love the kind of effortless feel. This is how I'd wear it more at this time of the year. I couldn't find my leather look and leggings, but I've just got some um, skinny navy jeans on. I think that leather look kind of black would look really nice as well with this navy and then some high heeled boots and I just think I know that it's not super skin tight but I feel like it's just a nice look to have to feel comfortable to feel like just quite easy and not too overdressed oh this one is definitely spring so this was kind of my piece that made me do this order as soon as I saw this I just thought oh yes I love when H&M do these really pretty, beautiful tops. So this one I got in a UK size 10. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's actually lined inside, which is really nice. It feels really soft and lovely quality. It's got the squared neckline and these kind of hidden buttons down the front. And I think it's gonna be quite a um, high-waisted top with this little frill. Full-length sleeves, again, a bit billowy, quite like just relaxed and comfortable. Obviously, you'd have to be wearing this with either some quite high-waisted jeans or a skirt, I think. I'll see when we try this one on. I love this one even more on. It just fits me in all of the right places. Sometimes I find that the arms are a little bit tight and don't fit that nicely, but it fits really nicely around the bust not too tight it's not pulling and then it comes in around the waist and just fits perfectly right at the right point and it throws out so I absolutely love it I find that it is quite hard to come by these tops that fit nice and feel nice sometimes they just feel like they're gonna fall down on the shoulders or they just somehow in some part of the top they just feel a little bit too overcomplicated and like they're not gonna be comfortable on but this one really does doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off doesn't feel like I'm gonna fall out which is obviously a huge plus point. And yeah, I just feel really comfortable and nice in it. I feel like it definitely fits true to size and is like sculpting my body, but I don't feel too tight or restricted in it. So this is a basic piece and it is actually from the H&M basic range. I got it in a size small. It is 
so soft way softer than i thought this would be this is lovely quality i love the mother of pearl kind of buttons going down the front it's just got a few there it feels like this is going to fit really nicely but the reason that i actually picked this one is because of the color i often find when i find things that are the right color even if i'm not needing it then i mean basics you always need new basics but i'm <laughs> if you can't tell you can see that i've got these trousers on and it matches perfectly with them but i'm really into this kind of very earthy, neutral tones at the moment, and that would just be lovely to go with all of my kind of color tones and also to keep me warm. And it really is super soft on. It is so soft that it could be a pajama top or a lounge top. In fact, it'd be lovely as a lounge top, but I would definitely wear this one out during the day. The V, it sits perfectly, just really nicely on my neckline, and it just tucks in, and it's, it's tight, but it's not at all restricting. It's something to do with the material that is just lovely and soft and maybe because it's ribbed it just feels and I think looks like a really nice quality basic. Now this is a bit of a colour that I wouldn't usually go for but I just fell in love with it. It's this yellow, I think it's actually picking up a little bit more yellow on camera but it's a really muted beautiful yellow. Got it in a size small and it's a knitted wrap dress and this to me looks like it's going to be midi length but I'll, we'll see when I try it on in the cutouts. But really, again, really, really lovely quality. Love that it ties at the side. It always reminds me of that kind of ballerina style jumper. It feels really, really soft and like it's gonna be really nice and cozy on. I don't know if the color yellow suits me. I feel like it does, but I might need a little bit of a tan. <laughs> Maybe I need to get fake tanning. I have found a new favorite color and definitely a new favorite dress. I love this color. I think it's really lovely actually and I don't think that you need a tan with it at all. It's more of a butter yellow. I hope that that is showing up on camera than a bright yellow and it's just really, really nice on. It feels so comfortable um, but I feel, feel put together. It's also warm. I love that it ties so it kind of brings in my waist is not too low, though maybe if I was walking around a little bit more and kind of moving, it would um, come away. So I don't know, you could put a pin there if you wanted to, just make sure. And then as you can see at the bottom, it's kind of tiered, which I think is the most elegant kind of length. It just makes it that little bit um, and more like, I feel like it elongates you slightly. So really, really love it. Just think it's gorgeous on. I am sounding super shocked because I wasn't sure that I would love it this much, but I do because it's a very different colour. In fact, I think that I have nothing in my wardrobe that is this colour. Right, sorry if this is a little bit random, but next is this bag. Fell in love with this online, just really like the colours, this pink colour, but then with the black and the green, just as a little pop, you can't really notice the green. And the gorgeous gold handles. We use so many reusable bags now and I just thought that this would be a really nice addition. It's kind of one that you can start using into the spring. Now that we're here, I really want to walk to the grocers or the butchers or what have you and just be able to put things in a nice bag and um, yeah, walk home with it, put this on my bike, what have you, that kind of thing. Just a really practical, useful bag which also looks good. Oh, I love this one. So I've been looking for a really kind of chic, sophisticated, comfortable blazer and I feel like this ticks all of the boxes. It's in a pinstripe. It is, I think it's navy or is it black? I'm not sure. I feel like you could get away with either on that. I'll have to try and find out what it is. I picked this one up in a UK size 10 because I wanted it to be a little oversized. Love the buttons and it feels like it's going to be super, super comfortable. It is lined inside really nicely. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is going to be so nice. Just really simple. I just pair this with a T, I think. Wow, I am really quite impressed with that one because I think it was quite affordable. Let me check the price. Hmm, so the only one that it looks like on here is the double-breasted jacket dark, which was $34.99. Okay, so that's even better than I thought it was. I feel like this is something that I'm going to be living in. You won't know, but my neighbour was just at the door uh, to check if I was lonely or not. She probably saw me. I wonder if she saw me in the window talking to myself. I'm not sure. But anyway, if I have a red nose, it's because I've really stood out by the front door in this with the snow outside. But anyway, I absolutely love this blazer. I think it's really nice on. It's got that masculine oversized feel that I really wanted, but yeah, it just, I think it feels slightly feminine, just in a way, I think because of the fabric and the way that it's easy and it just drapes. It is quite oversized and it's long in the body, which you'll be able to see at the back. But I think for me, this is the right size because 
I want to be able to pull up the sleeves and any tighter and it would have got a bit tight just there but right now it is not at all. I love this piece, I think it's just going to be one of those easy pieces that slips into my wardrobe and I can wear on those days where I just want to be in a t-shirt and jeans. Now we have some coats and I'm really excited about these two coats. I've just got a glimpse at the other one as well and I'm like literally heart beating a little bit because it looks so pretty, the colour looks amazing. Okay, so this one I picked up in a size small. It is a trench coat, but it is more of a cotton kind of trench coat, like a really comfortable trench coat. I had one of these from Topshop. I still have it in uh, grey and I wore it so, so much just because it was that easy sling on piece. You can really wear a thick jumper under it, but it just feels comfortable. It's really easy to move in. You don't feel at all restricted and that's what I really loved about it. But at the same time, you look really smart and put together. So if you're wanting a comfortable day, it'd also be perfect for work. I just love these. I think this colour is really pretty. It's um, a cream with a camel and a black quite smart, uh, quite classic, it just, uh, the design, I'm loving this one, it, it actually looks so similar, I think it's probably nicer than my Topshop one, I love this back to it, it ties in the middle, it has these really nice pockets, and again, it looks like it's probably going to come down halfway between my, like, somewhere around my calf area, I think, and it feels quite, like, heavy, but in a good way, like, it's going to sit quite nicely, drape quite nicely, and just feel and look quite expensive on. Okay, so I'm putting this one on, I do feel a little bit more Inspector Gadget, is that what you call him, than I thought I was going to. It's a little bit too, I think, is a little bit too oversized around the shoulders, and I feel like because it has absolutely no structure, it, I don't know, it feels a bit like a man's coat, though I don't mind a masculine coat, but this just... I'm not sure, what do you think? I'm really not sure on this one. It feels really comfortable. It's exactly what I wanted from the same style as that Topshop coat that I have. But it's definitely more oversized and just a bit bigger around this kind of area. I'm not overly sold. I'm not sure, what do you guys think? I love the color and the feel of it. Maybe I needed to go down a size. Oh my, I really hope that this color shows up. So I got this one in a size eight. And it is so beautiful. Just look at that colour. It's like a duck egg kind of colour. It's not too blue, um, but it's not green at all. It's just somewhere in between. It's a really pastel-y, gorgeous colour. Um, so it is just a really simple coat. This one actually isn't lined and it looks like it's going to be quite oversized. So hopefully it fits nicely on. I love that little detail at the back where it's just got the um, belt at the back but not at the front, the buttons are tortoiseshell which you guys will know that I love and again it's kind of a good length in the body, I can't wait to try this one on, I really hope it's nice because the colour is just amazing. I do adore the colour of this one, I think it's such a nice colour but I'm not 100% sure on the coat, it's quite a structured, it's quite like a straight structured oversized coat which I always find slightly difficult, you can see like I feel like it straight structures on the arms quite a bit and I know I love the colour it feels a little bit it's got wool in it but it doesn't feel like that soft lovely wool maybe it needs a little bit of a wash and it might come out slightly nicer but other than that I think it's a really nice coat it's a shame that it isn't lined because again I just feel like with this one there's a few little bits that it's just lacking on the quality so I think I need to try this on with some other bits and see how I feel do I keep it because of the colour and because I love the colour? I'm not sure, I'm not sure if it would just aggravate me. But then having said that, just having it on for this little amount of time, I feel like it's already starting to ease. Right, next up, a little mini skirt. This one looks super cute. I feel like somebody's tried this one on because it's already open. I got this one in a size 10, hoping that it may be just a little bit longer in length. It's in a black and white cream, and I have to say this one out of all of them, I'd probably say the quality's not quite there. It's quite a stiff material, but then again, in a skirt, sometimes I quite like that because it kind of seems to like suck you in and keep you tight and nice and secure, so maybe it will be quite nice on. I love this pocket detail, I just think that's so smart. It also has these popper buttons, which I need to make sure that this one isn't too tight on because it wouldn't be very elegant if I was walking down the road and they were all popping open. This one is so much longer in the body than I was expecting, so I am a very happy lady because I tend to find that I like kind of shorter mini skirts, but not mini mini, and this 
is just the perfect length. I've left tights off so that you can hopefully see the length on me a little bit more and see what it's like. I just think it's really, actually, this one is one of the ones that when it came out of the box, I was thinking, mm, I'm not sure I'm gonna like that. But it is much nicer on than I was expecting and I do really like it. And I think the length is just about perfect for me in mini length terms because it goes quite a bit over my bum, even if I was to bend over, you wouldn't see anything. Okay, another boho style top. I obviously had a thing for these as I was looking through. Got this one in a size eight. This one is gorgeous. It's really, really beautiful. I don't know what this material is called when it's kind of uh, the bobble effect in polka dots, but I love it. It's got all of this detail on the kind of shoulder area too, and it really billows it out. It looks like this is gonna be gorgeous on. I love getting these kind of pieces now because you can start wearing them now with a blazer over and a coat over and a big scarf, even when it's snowing outside, but also you're gonna be able to start wearing this into the spring and the summer months as well. So starting to kind of think ahead. I hope you can see that because it's quite bright and white, but I just feel like this one will be very pretty on some lovely gold jewelry, maybe some statement gold earrings. I love this one, it's such a happy girl in a boho top. And this is probably one of the least expensive boho tops that I have, I usually go a little bit more high end. And I felt like this one looked a lot worse off of the hanging than it does look on. I think it looks much more expensive, much more luxurious. I feel like, again, when this one is ironed or steamed or pressed, it would look so much nicer once more. But I just think it's really, really pretty. And for a H&M top, I think it's, so gorgeous. I will be honest with this one though, I don't think I'll be wearing it until kind of March time. You definitely could wear it now with a coat over the top, but I feel like it's gonna look better in the spring. And as I was just talking about statement earrings, here we go, I did pick up a pair. I fell in love with the color I like this gorgeous peachy color and they look like they're trying to be almost a tortoiseshell effect because of the swirls going through them with a bit of gold. I think that these will look really cute on. Just like little, let me try and get them out of the pack and show you. Okay, they're super light, which is really nice for chunky earrings. And what I like is that there's not too much gold. Sometimes I think too much gold in a chunky earring can look a little bit tacky unless you get it completely right. These are really light and just feel like they're gonna be so nice on the ear. And I just love this kind of coloring. I think it'll look really chic perhaps at the moment, especially with it snowing with a nice kind of pinky white polar neck on or something like that. Now I probably have far too much white and creams in my wardrobe, but I just thought another one couldn't harm. I, I definitely have this thing for these hidden buttons. I just think that they make something look a lot more expensive and nicer than it is. Hopefully you can see that there. Pick this one up in a size 10 and it's just a simple blouse. It's a really pretty white blouse, but I feel like you can just never go wrong with them. I find that I'm always picking them out in my wardrobe to go with different trousers or skirts or whatever it is. Also to go quite nicely underneath pieces like pinafores and stuff. And I felt like this one looked quite chic. I hope it does on anyway, but until I get it on, you never know. With how creased this top is, I'm really not doing it any justice trying it on right now. To be honest, I probably do not need another white top. I just know it, but I really like this one. Again, I just have this thing for them, but it, it fits really nicely. I'm finding that H&M from this haul, everything's fitting much nicer than it ever has before, whether I've lost weight with the renovations or they are just being a lot more reasonable with the sizes. I'm not sure, but it is all fitting really, really beautifully and just draping really nicely, which I find is what I look for on the high street, to be honest. When I'm looking for high street pieces, if it drapes and fits really nicely, then I feel like you can make it look a lot more high end. So yeah, probably shouldn't keep it. Tell me if I should keep it. <laughs> And last but not least, I picked up a pair of shoes. Now, looking at them now, I'm not 100% sure because they're in this satin material and I don't know how I feel about that. But I've been seeing this kind of style of heel around quite a lot at the moment and I really wanted to try a pair. So I thought H&M would be a great place to try them because they're obviously so affordable. And I hope that I like them. The heel doesn't look too big, but it is more of a... Um, stiletto heel which I always struggle with because I just feel like it's not that practical to wear a lot of the time but I can't wait to try these on hopefully they look quite chic on I thought I'd probably pair them with a um, slim cigarette pant and just a simple top even a shirt would look really nice but we'll see we'll see how I can start those up 
And that was everything that I ordered from New in H&M. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing it, started seeing some of the spring pieces that came in. Honestly, I had butterflies in my tummy when I was going through it because I was so excited to start forward thinking for the spring season. I think so much of it you can still wear now, either with a gilet over or a coat, or just really layering that up until the warmth of spring arrives. So yeah, I hope you guys are all good and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye.